Liam, well played. Uh, in the context of a short competition like this, how important is it to get off to a good start? Yeah, it's always very important, you know, especially with the only game that we've got here at Trent Bridge. You know, it's great to get a win and, you know, hopefully the momentum takes us, takes us a lot further. How conscious were you when you came in of, of trying to up the rate and trying to score proactively? Because those last few overs may have proven to be the difference in the end. Yeah, look, I mean, everyone's put in a performance today. You know, I don't think it's just down to me, but, um, you know, again, it's just about pacing innings on that kind of wicket where it's a little bit tacky. You know, it can be quite difficult to start. Um, so I was just trying to rotate the strike early and, and then kind of push on at the end, like, like you mentioned. And I think the momentum kind of swung our way into the bowling a little bit from the end of our innings. You were out there with Matthew Montgomery for a short while, but watching on for, for longer than that, how impressed were you with his innings anchoring that rebuilding job? Yeah, I think it was a quality innings uh, in the context of the game, you know. Um, we, I think we won by 60-something runs, so, you know, if he, if he didn't get those runs, uh, those vital runs at the top of the order, I don't think we would have uh, would have come, come across the line uh, today. But again, he, he's a great player and, you know, credit to him the way he went about today, really paced his innings and it was obviously really nice to watch and it was nice to be out there for, for a few runs with him as well. Now, it was an all-round performance from you in the field as well. It's a question that I asked Jimmy Pattinson the other day, but how important was the wicket of Pajara today and a good catch from you as well? Yeah, it was a, it was a massive wicket. You know, he's their best, their best player and most experienced player as well, um, and also their captain. So to get him out quite cheaply and, and have, have a plan of having that catcher there, you know, I think it's a it's really good, good effort from everyone. You know, the catch just stuck. So <laughs> just saw it, it just stuck. So... I'll claim that much, but um, yeah, look, it was it was a really nice feeling to get him out early. In terms of with the ball, how have you found adapting to the white ball format? It's been quite a quick change from red ball with not too much practice in between some rain affected games. So how was it to get out there today in the 50 over format? Oh, it was a breath of fresh air, to be honest. Um, I, I, I personally think it's, it's one of the diff more difficult formats to play. Um, again, but it's, it's a really nice feeling to come out at Trent Bridge and, and, and play a game here and, 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 you know, get over the line. A couple of words on your fellow bowlers as well. Fate Singh bowled some pressure overs towards the end for a, for a very young man in the game. Yeah, he did. Um, you know, those wickets have been coming. He didn't get one last year, but you know, for him to get two quick wickets to finish off the game, I think it's quality. And you know, I think the crowd definitely appreciated him finishing it off as well. Yeah. And what does it say about his mentality to come in when you know Sussex is still in with a shout and close the game out? Yeah, I think he held his nerve um, phenomenally. Um, you know, the, the way he goes about it, I've worked quite closely with him. Um, just a, just about a, just a few things here and there, but um, you know he holds his own massively in this team, and to be a massive part of this team in the future as well. And you talk about carrying the momentum from the batting innings into the time of the ball. I suppose that's exemplified by Brett Hutton. First of all, what did you make of his performance, particularly that early spell? Yeah, again phenomenal to be honest. Um, you know, I think last year he had the most dot balls in, in the uh, in the competition for us, and he's proven that here again. You know, he, he, at one point he was going, I think, 1.3s. So. You know, it was a great effort from him and, and he was the standout bowler for me, definitely. And for this first outing of the 50 over side, how special has it been to be out here? Beautiful day with, with so many staying behind as well for autographs from a good crowd here at Trent Bridge. Yeah, we all, I can speak for everyone and we all appreciate uh, everyone coming down, every game, no matter what game it is. Um, and, you know, to have that backing for, from the crowd is fantastic. And again, to put on a show and, and get over the line today was, was great.